वी आर लाइव नाउ प्लीज स्टार्ट नमस्कार शुभ सन्ध्या पूर्व स्टडी कलेज इ लाइसियम यूट्यूब चैनल सबा के स्वागत आज के मिलित हो पूर्वस्टी कलेजे चतुर्थ ओबनारे आज के ओबनारे विषय हे रेसपन्सिबिलिटी एंड प्रमोशन अफ कलेज टीचार्स एंड लाइब्रेरियंस इतिम्य पूर्वस्टी कलेज इ लाइसियम यूट्यूब चैनल पक्ष आगे तीनटे से ओबनार करा अपनारा जरा ओबनारे आज के जरा अंश कर तरह का एकांत अनुरोध था पूर्वस्टी कलेज इ लाइसियम यूट्यूब चैनल से सबसक्राइब कर प्रत्यंत कलेज नाम हम प्रसाद जैसे पश्चिम बंगे विभिन्न प्रांत भारतवर्ष विभिन्न प्रांत पहुंचे सवार का अनुरोध रख आज के आशी आज के ओबनार प्रसंगे आज के ओबनारे हमारे समग्र अनुष्ठान सूचित हो रखम भाव एरपे हमारे प्रिन्सिपाल सर संभाषण थे तरह थको बक्ता परिचिति जिन देवें माननीय डॉक्टर पार्थ कर्मकार महाशय तरह पार्थ कर्मकार महाशय तरह विस्तृत विषय आलोचना करबेंगे तक प्रश्नोत्तर पर्व एवं तरह धन्यवाद ज्ञापन माध्यम आज के योजना समाप्त हो तो एन अनुरोध करब प्रदी कलेजर माननीय अध्यक्ष महाशय डॉ विभाष चंद्र शाह महाशय के आज के ओबनार सम्पर्क कि सर एवरीबडी on behalf of purvastri college family i am welcoming all of you to this webinar in this webinar we have with us honorable deputy speaker academic west bengal board of secondary education and my very good friend dr parth sarmakar as speaker it is really proud moment for purvastri college to have you here as a speaker with us today i am sure that all of us would be immensely benefited from your lecture sir i am honored to welcome you in this webinar there are many faculty members of various universities and colleges here to view this webinar i am really proud to welcome all of you in this webinar i am also welcoming all other distinct dignitaries and viewers of this webinar ladies and gentlemen purvastri college is situated in a remote place parulia in purva bardhaman district of west bengal thanks to the power of the internet it gives us the opportunity to come in front of you i must convey my sincere thank thanks to the iqac of our college for taking this opportunity and making all of us proud the title of this webinar is responsibility and promotion of college teachers librarians under cas career advancement is very important part of our service few days ago i was also very much concerned about e about it iq most of us fully realize the importance of api marks and other related matters only when we fill in our applications for cas we wish we had come to know about these things sooner i have like all of you that this webinar will enlighten young teachers about the prerequisite information regarding cas college and university teachers have lots of different responsibilities besides teaching and course related work the faculty play an important role in the functioning of iqsc nss cultural and sporting events magazine disciplinary committees and other committees which immensely benefit both the students as well as the college administration in my experience i have seen that these kinds of activities ultimately carry api marks for their career advancement i know all of you are eagerly waiting to listen to dr parth karmakar honorable speaker of this webinar so i am concluding my welcome address by once again welcoming all of you to this event thank you onupam ha ha problem hoye gechilo problem problem some problem occurred oh jane 
आलोचना करारे प्रश्नोत्तर पर्व चलो प्रश्नोत्तर पर्व की संचालना कर शिक्षकता जीवन शुरू कर विधाननगर गवर्नमेंट कलेज बेथुन कलेज जलपाईगुड़ी गवर्नमेंट कलेज इंजिनियरिंग कलेज शिक्षकता कर दीर्घ दूबर सुनब माननीय डर पार्थ कर्मकार महाशय बक्तव्य जा हेलो हेलो रेडी रेडी गुड इवनिंग नमस्कार रेस्पेक्टेड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पूर्वस्थल कॉलेज रेस्पेक्टेड आईक्यूएससी कोऑर्डिनेटर डॉक्टर लिपिका घोषाल डियर मिस्टर अनुपम दास डर सौम घोष अल अदार फैकल्टी मेम्बार्स अब पूर्वस्थल कलेज एंड माइ डियर फ्रेंड्स हू आर हियर इन दिस वेबिनार एंड हू आर दैकाल्टी मेम्बार्स अब डिफारेंट कलेजेस अब वेस्ट बेंगल फार्ष्ट अफअल आई सेल फोकस अन साम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एंड एकडेमिक एफेयार्स रिलेटेड टू प्रमोशन अंडार कैस before going into the depth of my lecture i am going to focus on some important points which are very essential for your college service as well as your promotion under cash number 1 before joining to an institution that may be college that may be university one thinks that i am the assistant professor of this college or university i shall take only the classes that is i shall take academic activities only but dear friends i request all of you all my dear friends who are in this webinar i request you you have to take not only academic you have to take the responsibility of not only academic activities but also administrative activities not only for the institution but also for your promotion under cash please mind it you have to take the academic as well as administrative activities in the college if you think that i shall take only classes and academic activities since i am an assistant professor of this institution then your promotion you your promotion will be due but you will not be promoted to your to upper grade we know that there are four stages when you are joining 
when you are joining to college the first division is assistant professor stage 1 then stage 2 then stage 3 and last of all associate professor first of all i want to mention that you have to keep all the raw documents which are available in the college what do you mean by raw documents these raw documents will be required when your selection committee or screening committee will be there will be there for your promotion raw documents means suppose you are acting as the invigilator of a university examination or college examination you know there is a convener of exam committee and convener of exam committee prepares a roster of teachers for examination please keep a photocopy of it this is one raw document which is very required which is uh, which will be required by you next when you are going to invigilation before going into the room that is before taking the responsibility of one room you have to sign you have to put your signature you have to sign on a paper where you are taking the responsibility of that room after completion of the examination keep the photocopy of that paper where you have signed it therefore you are keeping two papers raw documents for invigilation duty one paper one paper you were assigned to act as the invigilator in the examination hall and the second one proves that you performed your duties these are the two raw documents suppose you are invited to deliver a lecture in a national level or international level or state level that may be in webinar also you are invited so you have to keep two things first thing you have you, have, you will inform them you will inform them please give me a letter of invitation where it will be mentioned that you are requested to act as an invited speaker on this topic and after completion of your program you have to take a letter of performance that you have performed it that is you delivered lecture on this topic successfully these two are the raw documents when you have to uh, prove that you were invited for uh, and you delivered the lecture generally it is seen that the college principal or the tic or the yc yc in case of government colleges tic in case of uh, in absence of the uh, if there is no uh, full time principal in the college in the government aided college those are called those that post is called tic teacher in charge generally principal provides certificate mentioning all the activities of a academic session please think that you are now assistant professor you have joined this year your promotion will be due after 4 years or 5 years or 6 years the principal may be transferred or may retire but if you have this raw documents then the new principal or new yc or new tic will be able to provide you a certificate on the basis of these raw documents please keep all the raw documents which are available to you this is my first request to first request to all of you next important point i want to mention how to keep the departmental profile not only for the college but also for your promotion under cas it is required 
all papers should be kept you have to keep all types of papers which are available in the college and those papers will be required at the time of promotion number 1 departmental head is there in his department departmental head is there there are associate professor there are uh, there and uh, there are assistant professors there is assistant professor there is sect sect means state aided college teacher previously they were called some of them are guest teachers some of them are government approved cwtt contextual government approved contextual whole time teacher some of them are government approved ptt government approved part time teacher and guest teachers now they are called sect state aided college teacher now first of all i request all of you i request all of you departmental meeting should held regularly departmental meeting should held regularly. before start of each semester there should be a meeting agenda will be distribution of syllabus among the teachers distribution of syllabus which teacher will teach to will take the responsibility of teaching which paper that should be mentioned uh, in the regulation and always remember that meeting should end with a formal regulation similarly at the time of paper setting we will set the college uh, in case of college examination paper is to be set by the teacher which teacher will set which paper that should be also decided in a meeting at the end of semester and intimation that may be soft copy that may be hard copy both regarding the completion of syllabus should be communicated to the principal through the hod departmental notice board should be there and in that notice board routine will be there peon book must be there in the department and not only that please think one thing when one faculty member of some department performing some extra responsibilities like iqc coordinator or nac coordinator or nss program officer that not only add a feather to the department but also enhance the departmental position in the accreditation of nac an academic audit we know that audit means financial audit but i think that academic audit should be there in each college it is required for nac if academic audit is there then everything will be ready for your case next very important thing before going into the category wise wise discussion for your promotion i want to mention some responsibilities of college teachers one those who are from government colleges i request all of you to follow wbsr west bengal service rule volume 1 and volume 2 first of all and those who are from government aided colleges i request all to follow college manual there is a college manual where so many government orders are there it should be it should be remembered that no leave can be claimed as a matter of right generally it is in that i have so many clc in a year i shall not go to college tomorrow no it should not be done by a teacher if you need a cl you require a cl intimation prior intimation is to be given otherwise that leave may be may be converted to unauthorized leave remember that no leave can be claimed as a matter of right there are various kinds of leaves 
there are various kinds of leaves i request all the teachers who are from university and not from college follow respective university statute what details are there but in case of government college teachers leave rule is to be followed from wbasr west bengal service rule next very one important point another important point suppose you join this college with phd after that you have got chance post doctoral then generally what is generally mane generally uh, it occurs that he inform the principal the principal calls a gb and gb has no gb gives the certificate that the governing body has no objection to release him or her and the teacher moves to the to join to post doctoral activity i request before leaving the college please take approval from the authority from the dpi or the department you have to apply to the dpi the principal will submit all relevant papers along with gb resolution when you will get the approval from the dpi then you move for post doctoral otherwise not otherwise when your uh, post doctoral research will be completed then you will come to the institution and join then you may fall in problem i request all of you to follow it next there is a scheme which is known as west bengal health scheme previously it was for government college teachers and government employee of west bengal but in 2017 there is west bengal health scheme for beneficiaries beneficiaries of granting colleges and universities act 2017 and total number 1897 dated 31st july 2017 please go through the respective orders and i request you uh, to be the member of this scheme you should you should be included in this scheme you will get many benefits from this scheme many benefits are there i am not going into the details of it but i want to uh, intimate you uh, such scheme is very helpful for your family west bengal health scheme there is rtisl each college should have a rtisl right to information act and two persons are there in the rtisl one is called the spio state public information officer and the other is called appellate authority and these two persons will be selected by the principal of the college or the governing body of the college and the main of these two persons that is spio and appellate authority should be displayed in the website of the respective college any citizen of india can apply for rti for any query related to your college next transfer rule is there for the government aided college teachers transfer rule is there and in order number 2762010 2017 dated 31st october 2017 there are three types one own seeking transfer own seeking to mutual and three is that is transfer on public interest please go through the order go through the respective order you will get everything there first of all i request you go through the order generally it is seen that when a question comes to my mind to our mind that person asks to his senior 
what will be uh, this is the i have following this problem what will be the uh, what should i do what is the rule what is the geo but never but i request that teacher you may ask to the senior okay but go through the respective order follow the respective order then you will get then you will get everything you will be able to know your query uh sorry for the introduction i think uh we have witnessed some network issues we have lost connection i suppose kindly stay tuned we are securing connection with partha sir hello sorry 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 yes sir sorry now okay yes. okay okay sir. yes sir you are audible sir some important tips so some important tips i have to mention now then go to the main portion first tip keep all of you are requested to maintain good relation with all of you that is we try to maintain very very good relation with all from capital p to small p capital p stands for principal of the college and small p stands for peon of the college that is you have to keep good relation with all most of the time of the day we spend in college i request all of you to keep good relation next important point i request all of you to honor the chair of the principal i may not like the person suppose i am the principal of a college i am the officer in charge of a college i am the tic of a college you may not like me personally parth karmakar you do not like him but you should honor the chair honor the chair of the principal honor the chair of the officer chairs this is my request to all of you for promotion there is one important thing counting of pass service very very important now i am going into the deep our my lecture counting of pass service counting of pass service means now you are assistant professor in an aided college or government college or in a university before that you served in institution suppose you served someone of them served an institution school that is it may be junior high school it may be secondary school it may be high school school after serving 5 years or 2 years or 10 years in a school you are going to join to a college now the question is that who is that this past service will be counted or not you may be served you may served to a private college private engineering college now you have joined government or aided college whether your past service will be counted or not if you come from school to college
hello if you come to school to college counting of pass service you may get counting of pass service that is your pass service may be counted for pensionary benefit counting of pass service are of three types one is counting of pass service towards cash cash means cas cash not csh career advancement scheme counting of pass service towards cash counting of pass service towards the protection counting of pass service towards pensionary benefit if you come from school to college you may get the pensionary benefit in the certain conditions are satisfied therefore you have to see the respective geo please go through the geo then you may get it and remember that there should not be any gap between release of the uh, between release from the previous institution and joining the new college there should not be any gap that is if you take release from a school on 1st august 2020 then you have to join on 2nd august in the college this is the first condition and so many conditions there the service in the previous Uh, school is confirmed and uh, the service in the uh, in in the in the in your previous service there is no service break there is no unauthorized leave and so many things are there there is service book and service book the service must be confirmed to get the continuity if you satisfy all the conditions and counting of past service towards pensionary benefit is for you next if you are from private college private college to aided college or from aided college to government college suppose please consider my case mr anupam das already told you first at first i joined at ochra memorial college at challa in the district of purulia that was my first place of posting that is i got uh recommendation from west bengal police service commission and there i joined first then i joined a jalpaiguri government engineering college after qualifying west bengal education service by the public service commission i also got the benefit of pass service i got counting of i got the facility of counting of pass service towards cash benefit towards pay protection and towards pension benefit there is there is there is order you have to go through the order and you have to keep all the papers and submit through the principal through the proper channel then you may get uh, your service may be counted order number 920 920 thirty first december 2012 the order was published by our department West government of West Bengal, and there it is written what are the requirements for getting benefit of pass service from aided college or any research lab. You, you, I request all of you to go through the order. Open at page number five or page nine. There are nine number of pages in order number nine hundred twenty, dated thirty first December two thousand twelve. You have to read order number. You have to read at page five of nine. I am just mentioning it. Please listen to my words. Previous regular service, whether national or international. as assistant professor associate professor or professor or equivalent in a university college or national laboratories or other scientific professional organization like csir icar drdo ugc icssr icsr icmr dbt etc should be counted for promotion under cash 
of a teacher if the following conditions are satisfied number 1 the essential qualifications of the post were not lower than the qualifications prescribed by the uc for assistant professor or assistant professor as the case may be number 2 the post was in an equivalent grade of the pre revised scale of p as the post of assistant professor number 3 the concerned assistant professor or associate professor as the case may be should possess the same minimum qualifications as prescribed by the ugc next the post was filled in this is very important point all papers should be there to if you want to get counting of past service towards uh, pension benefit or towards pass uh, or towards cash benefit or cash this the post the, the post means the post the previous the post the previous institution was filled in accordance with prescription procedure and lay, as laid down the regulations of university state government central government or concerned institutions next the previous appointment that is the appointment in the previous college was not as guest lecturer or any duration for any duration or an ad hoc or in a leave vacancy or of less than one year duration mind that ad hoc or temporary service of more than one year duration can be counted provided that the period of service was of more than one year duration and incumbent was appointed on the recommendation of the duly constituted selection committee it is very important duly constituted selection committee must be there before your before your joining in the last institution and the incumbent was selected to the permanent post in continuation to the ad hoc or temporary service without fail this note must be noted important thing while counting of a service for gas no distinction will be made with reference to the nature of management of the institution where the previous service was rendered that may be private that may be local body that may be government etc by the constant income provided the earlier service rendered was in the same or equivalent level at present this is all about for counting of past service from school from aided college to government college from college to uh, university it is very important for you when, uh, when you are an assistant professor in college if you want to um, have this facility uh, to count your previous service you have to follow these rules some important point is there please mind it next accountability of teacher it is very very important for cas related to cas accountability of teachers college teachers accountability first one attendance of the teachers in their workplace order number 920 attendance of the college teachers in their workplace must be recorded in the appropriate registers regularly by noting their arrival and departure times and by mentioning the number of classes allotted to you and actually taking and also by noting the other administrative work or academic work or such work or co curricular activities or extra curricular activities done by you and assigned by the institution on the on the day in the interest of the institution it is in, in the interest of institution i add it is interest for your own profession under cas also these papers will be required for you these papers will be required for you at the time of your promotion and i request all of you to keep a folder of each academic year each year the documents 
uh, end up joined in uh, joined in 2017. 17 July. Yeah, okay. As to July 2017 to 30th June 2018. Keep a folder and try to keep all kinds of papers, all kinds of raw documents to the folder. In this way, to each for each academic, each keep all the parts in the respective folder. Then it will be easy when you will, will try to find it. You will automatically get it from that folder. At the end of every academic year, each teacher have to submit a self application along with signed copies of support documents the head of the institution concerned where the sports based on API academic performance indicators would be calculated by the incumbent and these will be subsequently updated by the IPC coordinator and each charge authentic report ultimately will go to the personal file of the respective teacher now i am going to an important point no remunerative private tuition by a government aided college no private no remunerative private tuition by a government aided college in or college teacher will be permitted and apart from any other action are to be taken by the competent authority in this regard this practice, very important, this practice will be a disability for promotion through cash. It is mentioned in the order 920. That is why I request you go through all the orders. Everything is there in the order. Now I am uh, informing you that I know that you have several questions. I have already got the college authority. Uh, college authority has done a uh, very good job. The, um, uh, there are some questions from you, but you know that it is quite impossible for me to answer all the questions here. Here, I request all of you. I am giving my WhatsApp number. I shall give my mail ID. Please send the questions to WhatsApp and mail. I shall give you the answer. And if you want to get the relevant orders, I shall send you all important point now i am coming into your promotion about your promotion if your if your due, due promotion due now first of all i uh, want to mention that you are assistant professor stage one suppose now first promotion as in professor to as in professor stage one to stage two. If the incumbent joins the college with PhD at the entry level, then his first function will be due on just after completion of fourth year. For, after four years and if a professor joins the college with MP, his past promotion will be due just after completion of five years and if a teacher joins college without PhD, without MP, his past promotion will be due just after completion of six years. Now there is a question. Many of you uh, has many of you um, asked me if a teacher completes PhD after joining or completes MPhil after joining, then what will happen? Please listen to my own word. There is a specific geo. And this is this memo number is zero four nine 
dated 2016, issued by DPI West Bengal. 3rd March 2016, order number 049. And that order is actually partial modification of director's memo number ED103. ED103 dated 18th February 2013. What is written in the order? The main thing is this. If the incumbent acquires PhD degree or MPhil degree after completion of four, four years of service or five years of service or before six years of service respectively, he or she may be a self eligible to move from to move from stage one to stage two from the date of award of PhD or MPhil degree, subject to the fulfillment of other conditions stipulated in the UGC regulations. I hope that your question is your your uh, you have got your reply. Those teachers who completed their PhD or in field after joining in the college. Next, assistant professor from stage two to stage three, you have to complete five years of service in this stage. For all, with PhD, without PhD, with MPhil, without MPhil, five years of service in this stage. And from assistant professor stage three to assistant professor, uh, assistant professor stage three to Associate professor, this is called stage four. Associate professor, you have to complete three years of service. Now I want to mention how to how to produce, how to uh, how to maintain your uh, how to maintain your API score. PBAS, that is a term. PBAS. Performance based appraisal system. Performance based appraisal system. PBAS. And this is API based. API based means academic performance indicator based PBAS. You have to you have to uh, satisfy you have to satisfy API based PBAS. Now, if your date of promotion, if your due date of promotion is on or after 31st, 30th, Again, I'm very sorry. We are facing some issues with our network connection. And uh, I suppose he will get back soon with us. In the meantime, uh, sir is uh, providing all the answers. I think sir has come back. Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, sir, sorry to interrupt you are not Whoa. audible to interrupt. Okay. Uh, now okay. Okay. sir, it's okay. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. And yes. if you okay. and if you are due date of promotion on or after eighth December two thousand 
then the new api based pbs is to be put. new Sorry to interrupt you again. Hello, sir. Sorry to interrupt you again. Your voice is actually breaking, sir. I think we are facing some network issues. Kindly stay tuned with us. In the meantime, I request all of you to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, Purvastali College e Lyceum, where all the videos of the previous events were uploaded. You can uh, log into your YouTube account and view and download all these videos and use it for your uh, purpose of research and any other academic work as well. We are grateful to Sir for giving us this opportunity to interact with him. And like he has said, we have forwarded all the questions that we have received. And Sir is actually taking all these questions and uh, he's trying to answer all these questions as well. So kindly stay tuned with us. In the meantime, you can also ask your questions in the chat box as well. And I request all of you to join the Telegram uh, group as well. If uh, Sir gives his mobile number and email ID, we will forward it to the participants. Kindly be patient. We are trying to secure contact with Dr. Partho Karmakar, sir. I think he has okay. joined. Okay. 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 Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it's clear. Okay. Now I focus on UC 2016 regulation, Fourth Amendment, published on 11th July 2016. And proposed cash, gu cash gu guideline order number 1373 EDNCS dated 7th December 2017. Now, teacher step what steps are required by the teacher? First of all, you have to complete. API based PBAS format. I request you to see the format first of all. Those who join, those the teachers who joined this year or two years ago, first see the API based PBAS format. Order number 1373, dated 7th December 2017. First of all, you have to complete the API based PBAS format. For teachers or librarians, both you have to complete. For teachers, for librarians, you have to complete bo both. You have to complete API based PBAS format. Then, after completing the format, you will submit the principal. Then, IQSC coordinator will check your eligibility, whether you're eligible or not. And the IQC coordinator will put his signature in the respective place. I request all my dear friends, to all of you, I request, please cooperate IQC coordinator and members of IQC to assess you your doc for your documents. Then the principal will sign. If everything is okay, then principal will sign and we'll call a GB meeting for taking permission 
from GB for DPI nominee and university nominee. And DPI nominee, government nominee, government nominee is to be nominated by the DPI, and the university nominee is to be nominated by the vice chancellor of the respective university. And in this letter, the principal, which, which will be uh, which will be addressed to the VC or the DPI, in that letter, it must it must be mentioned the date of joining of the teacher. Whether the teacher joined the institution with PhD or without PhD, and his or her due date of promotion, these three must be written in his letter. Then selection committee or screening committee is formed. Mind that for stage one to stage two, and stage two to stage three. There is no selection committee. Owning only screening come evaluation committee. Screening committee is there for stage one to stage two, stage two to stage three. But for from stage three to stage, stage four, that is from stage three assistant professor, stage three to associate professor, there is a selection committee. For screening committee, there are three members. One of which the principal of your college will be the chairperson of the committee. And the rest two, out of rest two, one is government nominee to be nominated by the DPI, and the other is the university nominee is to be nominated by the vice chancellor of that university. That is three main committee. For screening committee, in case of selection committee, there are four members. One is the principal of the college, and he is the chairman of the committee. One is government nominee to be nominated by the DPI West Bengal, and two person, two pro two professors who are university nominee to be nominated by the. Vice Chancellor of the University. That is, there are four members in the selection committee for your promotion from Assistant Professor Stage Three to Associate Professor Stage Four. Four men committee member, and the quorum is three. If three members, three members are present in the selection committee, that is one out of two university uh, nominees. If one is present, then quorum is formed. Quorum is there. Therefore, I think that uh, you are clear how you have to apply for promotion. Very important question. When you will submit your papers to the to the principal? When? When means when means after due after due date or before due date? There is a question. After due date or before due date? There is a specific rule. You can sub if you are eligible. You can submit it three. You can inform to the principal three months ago. I am just mentioning the order. Candidates who fulfill the minimum eligibility course, you have to first of all you have to fulfill the minimum API course. What is the minimum API score? That will be discussed just after this. Candidates who fulfill the minimum API scores indicated in tables as per graduate notification, such and such, should offer themselves for promotion by submitting an application and the required pro forma. They can do so three months before the due date if they consider themselves eligible. Candidates who do not consider themselves eligible can also apply at a later date. Therefore, if you are ready, you may submit three months before your due date. If, however, be, during these three months, principal will call a meeting, will send letters to the VC and the DPI 
for DPI for uh, university nominee and DPI nominee respectively for three months. Within these three months, principal can do it so that your promotion on due date will be considered. If, however, on final assessment, candidates do not either fulfill the minimum criteria under the prescribed tables or obtain less than 50% in the expert assessment, they will be reassessed only after a minimum period of one year. Next, three points are there. If a candidate applies for promotion on completion of the minimum eligibility period and is successful, the date of promotion will be deemed to be the minimum number of eligibility. If, however, the candidate finds that he or she fulfills the eligibility conditions at a later date and applies on that date and is successful, then his or her promotion will be effective from the date of eligibility, mind it. And if a candidate does not succeed in the first assessment, this case may occur, already occurred, may occur. That is why I am mentioning it. If a candidate does not succeed in the first assessment, but succeeds in a later assessment, his or her promotion will be effective from the latter date. These are the any important points before you're going to submit uh, your uh, papers for promotion under yes. Now, I I am going to I am going into the uh, into the category wise category one category two and category three discussion after 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 your selection committee or after screening committee after selection committee or screening committee when you are when screen committee is over and selection committee has, has done their job then the principal we call will again call a gb gb will ratify the process and he should mind it that form c is there form c which is annexed in that order 1373 dated 7 december 2017 form part c is to be used by the screening committee or the selection committee for promotion and in that letter and in that form the selection committee of the screening committee it is mentioned that selection committee has considered the proposal of promotion under cash in respect of the constant incumbent from the post of assistant professor stage one to two and such and such and uh, and recommends that the post held by the income be upgraded to the post such and such with effect from debt will be mentioned there and after that principal will call a gb and ratify the process and then there is a for part d part t is to be filled up by the respective governing body or the administrator of the college then the principal will submit all the papers including form c from d including all the documents to the dpi for fixation case. this is the system how to how to submit how to uh, uh, the quorum of the quorum of selection committee and so on so on now i want to mention that you are assistant professor stage one within oh, if you want to go from stage one to stage two then you have to do one op and one rc you have to complete one op and one rc op means orientation program and rc means refresher course i know that there are so many questions for you question first question many of you 
already informed me is op or rc on online is applicable to cash my dear friends i request you there is no such geo till date since there is no geo nothing can be said at this time when geo is out you have to go with geo style first stage from stage 1 to stage 2 you have to complete you have to complete orientation program and refresher course and from stage 2 to stage 3 you have to you have to complete only one refresher course or equivalent or equivalent means or equivalent for a duration of not less than 2 weeks for promotion from 2 to 3 and from promo, for promotion stage 3 to stage 4 that is from assistant professor stage 3 to associate professor stage 4 which is called stage 4 one rc one refresher course or equivalent short term course is required for a duration not less than one week you should mind it and for associate professor if you have no phd degree you have to publish three papers in journal if you have phd one paper and you are you are suppose you are with mphil only no phd then you will have to publish two papers but till date but till date in college phd is not mandatory for associate professor till date i don't know whether in future what will be the uh, position but till date if you are not phd holder you may be associate professor if you have three publications for mphil two publications and for phd at least one publication this is the this is the these are the required eligibility this is the these are the eligibility for promotion first next i am going to, there are so many questions related to opnrc can one uh, complete opnrc in a single year generally the answer is that generally there should be a gap of one year you can do a course one course in an academic session generally 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 but if a situation if such situation demands that your date is due is very near then you can do op and rc in the same year if the college authority has no ob objection and if you get chance at hfdc you can do it another question comes can you do rc before op generally op is done first then rc but there is no such hard and fast rule if it occurs that you are not getting chance in op but you are getting chance in rc then you may come you may go uh, to rc first if college has no objection and it depends upon the hrdc hrdc means human resource development center where where from where you can do op you can do rc human resource development center there are four hrdc in west bengal one is situated at Jadavpur University, number two, University of Calcutta, number three, North Bengal University, number four, Bardhan University of Bardhan. In West Bengal, there are four HRDs, and previously, HRDC was called Academic Staff College. Academic Staff College. Remember that not only OPRC are, are there, there are so many courses in HRDC. Principals meet in every year, in every year by Jadavpur University. I have attended uh, when I was officer in charge at Muragacha Government College, the district of Nodia. I participate in the principals meet organized by HRDC, by Calcutta University and Jadavpur University. So many short-term courses are there. 
so many short term courses there are interdisciplinary subjects also you can you can um, uh, someone has asked me a question can i do research course in interdisciplinary subject ha yeah, you can you make uh, you may uh, do the research course any interdisciplinary subject if the university allows university has no objection and uh, your department falls to that disciplinary uh, to that inter interdisciplinary section you may proceed next very very important very very important assistant professor direct teaching hours per week for assistant professor 16 hours per week for associate professor 14 hours per week for professor 14 hours per week this is men this is already mentioned here one new point i want to uh, mention you uh, which is very essential uh, for your cash uh, other service conditions of college teachers teaching days the government aided colleges must adopt at least 180 working days and there should be a minimum of 30 weeks actual teaching in a six day week of the remaining period 12 weeks may be devoted to admission and examination activities and non institutional days for co curricular sports foundation day etc and eight weeks for vacations and two weeks may be attributed to various public holidays in this way 52 weeks six weeks 30 weeks teaching and learning process admission admission examination preparation for examination 12 weeks vacation eight weeks public holidays two weeks total 52 weeks and workload is this 16 hours per week 14 hours per week for asset person and professor 14 hours per week and direct teaching now i am going into the direct into the category one category one category one means direct teaching there are 70 marks 70 marks is up for direct teaching score how to get the score 70 marks maximum how to get the score actual hours spent in academic in academic year divided by 7.5 this is the score for your direct teaching and maximum score is 70 is there in direct teaching category one direct teaching 70 marks how actual hours sent part 7.5 someone has asked me how shall i uh, keep the record i shall give you the answer maximum score is 70 score actual hours spent in an academic year by 7.5 for associate professor maximum score is 60 a score actual hours spent by 7.75 please mind that if i please uh, come to the point suppose there are 180 working days 180 for working days a four classes are there there were total number of classes 720 i am uh, just giving um, for one academic session from first suppose from first july 2019 to 30th june 2020 there are one suppose there are 180 actual teaching days four classes per day total class 720 and per class 45 minutes therefore if you convert convert it into minutes then convert into hours then you will get it is 540 hours and if you convert to API, that is 540 divided by 7.5, it will be 72. But your maximum score is 70. 
maximum score is 70 and for this you have to how to keep the papers how to keep the records you have to keep the holiday list of each academic year you have to keep if you uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you are assistant professor without phd then your uh, promotion will be due after just after completion of 6 years you have to keep 6 years records and holiday list for each year routine class routine class routine means that will reflect how many classes were assigned to you at the time of selection committee at the time of screening committee the uh, members any member of them may ask you please give me the please show, show me the document then i request you that is why i request you keep the holiday list of each year actual number of changes will be mentioned there routine and attendance register where you have already mentioned how many classes were allotted how many taken time taken etc that are the documents and that are the main documents by which you will be able to prove that you are assigned to um, uh, take classes for uh, for uh, such and such hours and you have already done it sometimes it happens that there is no student in the class but you are present in the college to take the classes then i request you to go to the classroom and see that there is no student is there but put the sign in the students attendance register the respective place and write down no student was found you should maintain it there is no student as not i am in the college i am not going to the class it is not it is not that next examination duties category 1 70 reserved for direct teaching category 1 b point examination duties including question setting including evaluation of answer skips including invigilation maximum score is 20 and score is defined is defined by actual hours spent by 10 that is to get 20 out of 20 you have to spend 200 hours in academic year. there is no problem there are there is no problem to get 20 out of 20 for all teachers who uh, who who uh, act as the who acts at the invasion duty examines the answer skips by the university or college and paper setter etc suppose you evaluated answer skips of some semester of university exams then you have to keep the documents first documents first document appointment letter of the teacher for examination that you were assigned to act as the examiner and number two performance certificate performance certificate uh, you are requested to take the performance certificate by the head examiner or by the controllers of examination of the respective university if you go to the control section uh, i know that you will get that performance certificate there is a specific geo geo number is 314 dated 22nd february 2019 related to assessment of spent hours spent per paper for evaluation assessment paper setting and moderation separately for ug level and pg level ug level and pg level and it is mentioned that and it is mentioned that if it is ug courses full marks up to 50 evaluation system per copy you will per candidate per copy 
20 minutes 20 minutes per copy if full paper above 50 for ug category 30 minutes for checking for evaluation for pg course it is 30 minutes up to full marks up to 50 and full marks up to above 50 paper 45 minutes per paper therefore there is a specific geo please go through the geo if you want to get the geo i, I may send you to the i may send you there is a assessment of hours for post publication scrutiny for post evaluation miscellaneous work is mentioned there please go through the respective geo and get everything i again uh, remind you all please try to collect all the government orders related to your requirement you will get everything and follow that i request all of you to follow the website to follow the website of uh higher education department of uh, finance department so many orders are there you will get everything you will be able to you will be able to innovate yourself i request all of you to innovate yourself your in your day to day personal life today's partha karmakar and tomorrow's partha karmakar there must be a difference you have to mind it in case of teaching in case of administration in any case if i am the if uh, i am the uh, peon of a college then today's uh, my activity and tomorrow's activity as peon there must be difference next innovative teaching including men mentoring syllabus course designing there is also api use of ict use of ict or computer aided methods that is powerpoint presentation please keep all powerpoint presentations in a cd keep it you have to show there is a marks there is a mark there is api score and um, i request all of you if you use powerpoint presentations keep all ppt in a city for updating of courses curriculum design if you are a university teacher then you may get api for this being a college teacher you have no scope to update the courses or uh, curriculum design therefore this is that for university teachers they may get it if they update the courses or curriculum design here also hours spent same 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 organizing conducting a popular program teaching based web based e library it assisted teaching for library and special programs in physical education or library innovative teaching development teaching bridge course development of uh, development or teaching soft skill communication person development participation innovative interactive courses and there are so many points but i think that if you use ppt in your classroom you may get api in this respect if you organize popular program how many hours have you spent for that you have to keep a certificate from the principal or the from the respective authority from where you have done it then you may, will be able to show maximum score is innovative teaching including mentoring maximum score is 10 10 means and score is actual hours spent divided by 10 is your score category 3 this is very 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 important very 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 important category 3 student related co curricular extension and field based activities 15 marks reserved for it student related co curricular activities extension and field based activities 
Number one, discipline related co curricular activities. That is, career counseling may be there, remedial classes may be there, study visits may be there, educational tour may be there, student seminar, and other events. Suppose your department has gone to study visit. First, before going to any educational tour, the head of the department will write a letter to the principal for permission. If the principal's approval is done, then you may start for educational tour. And after coming from educational tour, give a report to the principal. These are the documents that you were assigned uh, uh, for educational tour and you have performed the duty. Therefore, I request all of you to keep all types of papers which are available to uh, uh, available in your college. I request all of you. If you are associated with NSS, NCC of a college, you may be the NSS program official, you may be the member of the NSS subcommittee, you may be the NSS ANO or caretaker of NCC, or you are the convener of sports, convener of culture subcommittee. Then you have to keep the paper. Every subcommittee should convey a meeting. And there should be a resolution copy. These, these are the documents by which you can prove that such activities were done and you were assigned. We know that in NSS, there are two types of activities. One is regular activities and the other is special camp. I request you to keep all the papers where you are assigned. Next, extension and dissemination activities, public or popular lecture talk seminars. Under this category two, A, 15 marks zapped for this, you will get marks, 15 marks. Very easy to get it. You have to know all the uh, all the points. You must be technical. I request all for all of you be technical first of all. Please collect the geo, see the format, how uh, what are, what documents are required. Then try to keep it keep. Then for, there will be, there will be no problem for your promotion. In category two. 15 marks is up for this contribution to corporate life and management of the department of manage of the department and institution through participation in academic and administrative committees and responsibilities. Suppose you are the IQC coordinator, you are the NAC coordinator, you are the chairperson, you are the teacher in charge of the college, or such and such, you are the dean of the university. There is API. Participation in board of studies, academic and administrative committees. How many hours have you spent in this? You have to keep record. And total maximum marks is 15. Maximum marks is 15. That is, you have to spend at least at least 150 hours divided by 10, that is 15, to get the full marks. Next, professional development activities. Participation in seminars, conference. In seminars, conference, I, I, I want to mention that. Um, uh, uh, I know that all of you know it, but I want to mention that there is a difference between seminar and workshop, difference between conference and seminar, difference between symposium and conference. I am not going into the detail of it. But just I uh, want to inform you, just go through the Google, you will get everything. But think, but you, I request all of you, do not think all are equal. There is some basic difference, basic difference is there among all this. Short term course, professional development activities under this, there is short term course. In old system, it was included in category three. 
but in category it is it has been uh, transferred to category 2 and it will be counted by how many hours have you spent in short term courses courses lectures in rc fip or uh, general article etc total contribution any other contribution 15 marks reserved for it 15 marks reserved for it category 3 starts now i am going to the category 3 very 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 important very very important you have to get minimum api in category 1 category 2 category 3 for your promotion stage 1 to stage 2 i am just mentioning after a little after a little bit of time category 3 a activity research papers published in journals as notified by ugc in ugc care list 20 per publication if you are the sole author single author you will get 25 per publication if it is in if the journal is included in huge scale list if it is other than care list then 10 points per paper if you are the main author single author if there are some co authors i am just going into the detail just after uh, i am going uh, just i am uh, i should mention it if there are so many authors in a paper then how marks will be distributed please see the paper the journal may be may have the journal may have impact factor or may not have impact factor the augment of the augmentation in publication will be in this way X plus augmented marks equal total marks in publication. Please keep it mind. Augmentation in publication in this way. X plus augmentation mark equal to total marks. X means X means twenty five in case of UGC care list or ten other than UGC plus augmented mark. Augmented mark equal to five. If the impact factor of the journal where your paper has been published is less than one, augmented marks is ten. If the impact factor of the journal lies between one and two, and augmented marks is fifteen, if the impact factor lies between two and five, and augmented marks equal twenty, if the impact factor of the journal lies between five and Ten, the uh, impact factor is above ten. Then augmented marks equal to twenty-five. That is twenty-five. If the if the uh, if the journal if the, if your paper uh, is published in a journal whose impact factor is more than ten, then if he is the co-auth he is the main author, then the total marks will be twenty-five plus twenty-five. X plus twenty-five. X twenty five UGC care list plus twenty five. That is fifty. You will get fifty here to get promotion. I request all of you try to make paper in each year as much as possible. If you can publish paper in a reputed journal, in UGC care list journal, or in any journal. There will be no problem for your promotion. You must have paper in journal. And for sub e, if, if you are not the single author or main author, if you are single author, you will get full marks. If you are the first author or the principal author or the corresponding author or the supervisor or the mentor. there are so many there are so many authors in a paper if you are any one of these if you the first author or the principal author or or corresponding author or supervisor or mentor but if you are the supervisor of the paper if you are the mentor of the paper it must be mentioned in the paper 
there is no there is uh, no nothing is written on the paper and if you claim that i was the supervisor i was the monitor you not get marks it must be written in the paper then if there are more than one author then 70% equally and others 30% equally other uh, other authors will get this is the augmentation in publication therefore try to publish papers in reputed journals in uc that is we know that number of journals in uc list is few then try to publish in uc list otherwise publish in other than uc list journal there is also number number is less but there is number textbook if you are the author of textbook mind that when you are the author of book when you are going to publish a book please try to talk with the publisher whether the publisher has isbn number or not book with isbn number if the book belong to international level the status of the publisher is international then you will get 30 marks if the status of the publisher be national then you will get 20 per book and if the status of the publisher is state or local you will get 15 per book if the book is with isbn if you have published papers published in book chapter if you have book chapter in international level you will get 10 per chapter if you write three chapters you will get 30 if it is if it is international and national five per chapter national five per chapter you will get you will get you will get it for projects for projects if you get projects sponsored projects for science if the major project with grants above 30 then you will get 20 for science or for arts or social science if the major project with grants above 5 lakh you will get 20 and if it is 5 to 30 lakh for science you will get 15 if it is 3 to 5 lakh for arts and social science major project grants api is 15 and minor project 1 to 5 lakh for science 10 api and for arts 1 to 3 lakh 10 everything is mentioned in the geo please go through in the geo 1373 data 777 december 2017 for consultancy projects 2 to 10 lakh 10 marks 10 api is there for patent international if it is international level you will get 30 if it is national level you will get 20 if it is state level you will get 10 if it is local level you will get 5 5 uh, for arts in case of patent for arts major policy document prepared for international bodies like who unesco etc unicef central or state government or local bodies you will get marks 30 for national international 30 marks for 30 for international 20 for national 10 for state and 5 for local next invited speaker invite a lecture or paper you should mind that you can take maximum 20 percent of minimum in this category invited lecture public paper if you are invited to a lecture 
of international level you will get seven per lecture and you and if you present a paper in international level you will get five per paper if it is national level you will get five per lecture that is if you are invited to a national level seminar and if you are the speaker invited speaker then you will get five per lecture and if you present paper in a national seminar you will get three per paper and it, it is and if it is university level or state level you will get three per lecture and two per paper presentation now if you act as research guidance then there is also api mphil degree awarded five per student phd if this is submitted then 10 per student phd if degree awarded 50 per student there is fellowship fellowship means if you are a, if you, if you get a uh, national or international or state or university level award you may get you may uh, you may you may get uh, you may, uh, for international you will get 15 per award for national 10 per award uh, for state university 5 per award suppose uh, you have obtained sikharatna by government of west bengal this falls under the category of state level fellowship you will get 5 per award but it should be mentioned that the screening committee or the selection committee will decide whether you will get score for fellowship for the certificate or not the selection committee or the screening committee will decide their decision is final and there is last e learning module e learning module 10 per module 10 paper per module if you publish self content self content publish if you can publish in youtube also in twitter in website you will get marks 10 per module now if now we have done we have already told category 1 category 2 and category 3 minimum requirement minimum requirement minimum requirement from stage 1 to stage 2 category 1 category 2 category 3 category 1 to 2 category 1 for stage 1 to stage 2 in category 1 you have to get minimum 80 out of 100 70 direct teaching 20 examination 10 innovative teaching out of 100 you have to get at least 80 marks for your promotion 80 is the minimum marks per year you have to get it per year first stage to second stage 80 second stage to third stage 80 and third stage to asset professor 75 per year in category 1 in category 2 50 50 50 per assessment period total assessment period category 2 50 50 50 and category 3 20 50 75 20 50 75 category 3 means research papers books philosophy e learning etc you have to get minimum 20 from stage 1 to stage 2 minimum 50 stage 2 to stage 3 minimum 75 stage 3 theke stage 4 for assessment period means assessment period means for first promotion if you are with phd then you have to uh, uh, get at least 20 in this category within the assessment period that is within the 4 years and 50 
for five years and O75 for three years. And two plus T, two plus three, total marks category two and category three for stage one to stage two. You have to get ninety. Already they have told fifty category two, twenty category three. Total is seventy. Remaining twenty, you have to get it from either from category two and category three. In this way, from stage one to stage two, category two and category three, you have to get minimum ninety. Category two to three. 120 category 3 to 4 150 per assessment period you need not write now please go through the geo you will get everything i i am giving my whatsapp number my mail id directly to you if you have queries do not hesitate to mail me i shall reply positively it may be delay but i shall Uh, give you the reply or give you the time then you will call me i shall inform you accordingly please write i hope that you have uh, you have pen and paper write my whatsapp number my whatsapp number is 9434 five 9434 5 7 2 Nine one four. This is my WhatsApp number, and my mo and my mail ID is P A R T H A Partho, P A R T H A Partho, underscore underscore sign, put underscore sign, math M A T H math seven two seventy two at rate yahoo dot co dot in. At rate yahoo dot co dot in. I am already given you the my mail ID and WhatsApp number. I request all of you. If you have problem, you may send to my mail. I shall try to reply you. And I have already. Mentioned the four committee member for selection committee, three committee member for uh, screening committee. One thing should be mentioned for associate professor to be associate professor from stage one, stage three to stage four. There is selection committee, and there is a interview. But for your promotion from one to two, two to three. There is no interview. Only screening come evaluation committee. Screening come evaluation committee will verify your documents and put the sign. But in case of promotion from assistant professor stage three to four, that is associate professor, there is interview for twenty marks. Full marks is twenty. Out of twenty, you have to pass mark is twelve. Our pass mark is twelve, sixty percent pass mark. Out of twenty, six marks reserved for research contribution. Out of twenty, six marks. Six marks means thirty percent of twenty for research contribution, and fifty percent of total marks. That is ten. For your knowledge domain, and twenty percent of total marks, twenty that is four, reserved for best practices in teaching and development. Out of twenty, you have to get at least twelve to be an associate professor. That there is an interview. Thank you all. I convey my sincere thanks and gratitude to the principal, to the IQC member, and all other faculty members of Purvastali College for giving me this platform 
share my knowledge in this field thank you thanks all uh, thank you so much for sir for taking time out of your busy schedule and to be here with us thank you once again i i believe all most of the questions were answered uh, still i now hand over the session to mr ashish dotto to to uh, take some of the questions maybe he will take up some very selective questions from the chat box yes yes uh, thank you uh, dr show yes. dr show uh, uh, first of all i would like to uh, thank you uh, dr parth parmukar sir for your enlightening uh, speech uh, we all have enlightened and enriched uh, and the chat box was flooded with congratulating comments uh, that they all have enriched so much uh, uh, from you but uh, some of our librarian friends are requesting that sir please uh, highlight some key points uh, of our uh, cash so if you kindly highlight some uh, key points of librarians also regarding cash it will be highly beneficial for us okay 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 um for librarian please mute mute all noise is coming hello for librarian uh, same as teacher your status is teaching status you know that librarian is also teaching status teacher you have to fulfill category 1 fulfill category 2 fulfill category 3 category 1 instead of teaching equivalent tax is assigned here in the order please go through the order 1 3 7 i am mentioning a few i am mentioning a few nature of activity nature of activity instead of direct teaching direct teaching is for the uh, for assistant professors but in case of librarian instead of direct teaching you have to maintain the papers you have to keep the records you have to keep the records library resources organization and maintenance of books journals reports provision of library reader services literature literary services to researchers and analysis of reports provision of assistance to the departments of university college teachers for preparing reports manuals and related documents development of development organization and management of e sources including their accessibility over internet digitization of library resources e delivery of information etc there are 40 points are um, uh, reserved for uh, something 15 points for uh, e resources digitalization of library and user awareness and instruction programs opac knowledge resources and the promotion programs like organizing books exhibitions other interactive pro programs may, may, may be done ict and other technologies the technological application for upgradation of library you have to keep the documents you have to keep the documents that you have done it here also same actual hours spent per academic year divided by 10 will be your uh, is the formula for getting the api maximum 15 is 15 mark is there ict additional services such as extending library facilities on holidays self ordered maintenance library user manual building and extending institutional library facilities 15 api is reserved for it and the api is calculated in this way actual score is 15 actual hours spent by the candidate per academic year divided by 10 this is category 1 instead of direct teaching you have to keep the you have to keep it the, we know that you have issue register automation com, auto, automation com, computer membership register catalog ebooks uh, you have to maintain how many hours have you 
uh, spent for this you have to keep the paper and uh, you should um, uh, you should uh, endorse the paper by the, the by the principal you should endorse it it must be endorsed by the principal category 2 same professional development curricular and extension activities student related co curricular activities like cultural exchange library service programs various therefore you have to you have to arrange various types of programs with the students otherwise you will not be able Get uh, programs, various level of extramural and internal extension library liter literary work through the different channels. Contribution to co corporate life and management of the library units and institution through participation in library and administrative committees and responsibilities. You have to you may. You should, you should be a member of different uh, companies and colleges for your promotion, for your cash. Please go through the order, you will get everything. Professional activities such as participation in seminars, conference, short term course, e live training course, workshops, events, talks, letters, every 15 months. To get it. Of category research and academic contributions, you must say as before. A little change in the art. Um, uh, if you, you have you have to put this paper. If it is uh, if the journal belongs to UC Calis 20 per publication, other than uh, UC Calis 10 per publication, and in case of if you are the author of books, uh, same as people, same as people. If you have research project, as a research project, then there are also API. Consultancy is the outcome of books. Uh, MPhil, you will get five per candidate. If you, uh, if you, uh, if uh, under your guidance, uh, one, uh, one teacher, uh, um, uh, well, degree of uh, PhD degree was awarded to one teacher, then you will get 50 per candidate. And, then you, and if the thing is I have already mentioned uh, the score under the category is not a minimum for category or in assessment for your Please uh, do not hesitate to uh, send me mail. I shall. Hello. Hello, sir, are you there? Hello. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, yes, 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 yes. I have got connection problem, network yeah, problem, yeah, poor yeah. network. Yes, sir. Do not mind. Please do not mind. I have nothing no, to do. No, 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 sir. No, no, no. 
sir, thank you. I think uh, you have already mentioned about your uh, WhatsApp number and uh, your contact details. I think uh, who are interested, it is yes, definitely uh, contact to you. Uh, we could uh, take more uh, questions uh, and we would uh, happy to like to do that. But uh, uh, due to paucity of time, we uh, cannot afford to continue this uh, program uh, to, to uh, take this on. So now I like to request our uh, beloved uh, IQAC uh, coordinator, uh, Lipika Ghoshal ma'am, to uh, finally uh, vote of thanks this session. Lipika ma'am, it's over to you. It's over. Hello, ma'am. Jibone Pashala Amra Shokoli, a coating, Ovikata, Mode de Akun Shikala Purjolechi. Janina Amade Agami Din Kamon Kadbe. Bodo Orishit, Bodo Ashunkatur, and Purishot. Tobe, E Atunker Motio, Amra Amade Bostuman Shumoike, Nostro Hote Dite China. আর এই কারণেই এই ওয়েবিনারের আয়োজন আমরা একটা সমৃদ্ধ সময় কাটানোর সুযোগ পেলাম সকলের সহযোগিতাকে সঙ্গে করে এক ক্ষেত্রে প্রথমেই আমি কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই আমাদের পূর্বস্থলী কলেজের माननीय অধ্যক্ষ ডক্টর বিভাস চন্দ্র সাহা মহাশয়কে যার নিরন্তর অনুপ্রেরণা আমাদের আজকের ওয়েবিনার হবার প্রধান শক্তি তার উৎসাহ না থাকলে আমরা এই ওয়েবিনার করতে সফল হতাম না माननीय অধ্যক্ষের কাছে সে কারণে আমাদের ঋণে শেষ নেই আমি অত্যন্ত কৃতজ্ঞ আজকে ওয়েবিনারের মুখ্য ও একমাত্র বক্তা হিসেবে একমাত্র বক্তা হিসেবে ডক্টর পার্থ কর্মকার মহাশয়কে পে তিনি তার ব্যস্ততম রুটিনের মাঝেও আমাদেরকে সময় দেওয়ার জন্য Sir Shotti, Amra Apunake Dono Bajanai. Amra Jara College of Tapana Shonga Jorito, Tader Podono Tirkete, a Guru Topurno Bishoike Bistrito Halojon Arjuno, Shared Kate Amade Kritov Gota Shishni. Kupshundor Koretini Amade promotion made Bishoy Protiti Dapke Bakka Koretin. Ami Ashakuri Amade Najana Onik Bishoy Proti. তিনি আজ আলোকপাত করেছেন স্যার কে আমি আমার কলেজ ও আইকিউএস এর পক্ষ থেকে অনেক অনেক ধন্যবাদ জানাই যে কোনো জিনিসই বাস্তবায়িত হবার পিছনে কয়েকজন মুখ্য কারিগর থাকে এই ক্ষেত্রেও আছে তাদের উৎসাহ উদ্দীপনা দায়িত্ব সচেতনতা ও বিশেষ করে কারিগরি দক্ষতা আমাদের আজকের ওয়েবিনারকে সার্থক করে তুলেছে এই কারণে ইতিহাস বিভাগের প্রধান অধ্যাপক Unupom Dash Mahashoy, Ingraji Bibhake Rodhapak, Dr. Shomo Mohon Ghosh, Amade Librarian Othapak Oshis Dotto, Ide Shokulke Ami Bishesh Dhunobad Janai. Tade Puristrom O Oklam to Shahojovita Amade Webinar Hobar Pudan Chalika Shokti Shabe Katskoreche. Ami Purbustili College, IQC Putik Shodosh Shoke, Amar Pokoteke Bishes Dhunobad Janai. যে কোনো কাজে তাদের নিরন্তর উৎসাহ উদ্দীপনা অনেক কঠিন কাজকেও সহজ করে দেয় আজকের এই ওয়েবিনার হওয়ার পিছনে তাদের সম্মিলিত সাহায্য না থাকলে আজকের এই ওয়েবিনার সফল হতো না তাই আইকিউএস এর প্রধান প্রত্যেক সদস্যকে আমি পুনরায় আরো একবার ধন্যবাদ জানাই পরিশেষে আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাই এই ওয়েবিনার যারা শুরু থেকে শেষ পর্যন্ত আমাদের সহযোগী হয়েছে প্রকৃতপক্ষে তাদের জন্যই এই ওয়েবিনার তাই তাদের উপস্থিতি এই ওয়েবিনার সফল হওয়ার পিছনে অন্যতম প্রধান অনুপ্রেরণা হিসেবে কাজ করেছে তাই ওয়েবিনারে যারা সাথী হিসেবে থেকেছেন তাদের সকলকে আরো একবার কৃতজ্ঞতা ও ধন্যবাদ জানিয়ে আমি শেষ করছি